This podcast is sponsored by Magic Mind. What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here. Thank you for listening and watching Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. This is episode 166. That's right, 166. For those of you that have been living under a rock, we are back with Season 9. It's been a long time coming, but we are back. And as always, I'm joined by the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend. You love him. We all love him. He's good at winning challenges. But will he win your heart? Ladies and gentlemen, Wildfire 1. I will win your heart. Love me. Love me. Yeah, this is uh, Valentine's Day just passed. So, yeah, uh, yeah. As as we're recording this, Valentine's Day was yesterday. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Uh. Maybe maybe I will win your hearts. Love me. Dun dun dun. So uh. And no, it will not be a doki doki type of. Uh, <laughs> Just wildfire. <laughs> Just wildfire. It's funny that you brought doki doki. I was just thinking about that the other day. Let's let's discuss doki doki for a second. Um, I, I know I've asked you this before, but I think it's a good thing to ask you on the podcast. I, w- I want everyone to know, like, would you be willing to redo a Doki Doki game? At this point in time, yes. Oh, okay. You said but no before. Yeah, well, I've thought more about it. Um, I've, I've grown a bit. I've, I've healed a bit since since then yeah um that game hit me pretty hard because of i had you know life stuff going on at the time of uh of recording that uh you know so we I, had no idea you know when we yeah you, know, you had no idea at the time um i had some some close losses at that time and then you know i had medical issues of my own that uh were were life-threatening that was how long ago that was about three years. Yeah, well, that was a lot longer than that, but you think so? Yeah, that was four, maybe five years. No, a lot longer than that. Oh come on! It was a lot longer than that. We just hit our five. Well, we we I think we're at our seven, eight, seven, seven year mark for the podcast, aren't we? Yeah. So nine years ago, bud. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Nine years ago, like yeah. That's, uh, time flies, and when you get older, it goes by quicker, and next thing you know, you don't know how much time went by. Well, you gotta think, too, we, um, for the podcast, we took almost a two-year hiatus because mm-hmm. of life. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, so you you would do another Doki Doki gameplay. Now that I know what to expect. Yeah, but I mean, you, you did it with, the in the first gameplay, you did it with, like, the intentions of of Yuri, right? Yeah. So, would you try a different chick this time around? Yes, definitely. Out of curiosity, who would you do? Um, definitely not Monica. <laughs> fuck you, Monica. Um, that was a really fun gameplay when we did it. And here's a fun story behind that. Uh, when Baby Girl of Doom was a crew member, she was talking about she actually bought a Siri costume, or sorry, not Siri, Monica. She bought a oh, Monica costume. costume. And she was going to wear it for uh, one of the uh, Comic-Cons that we were going to go to all together. But unfortunately, the Monica costume didn't fit her right. Baby Girl of Doom is kind of uh, endowed in the chest area a little more than probably Monica. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. so yeah. She, yeah, she, they, she had to get it fixed, and it just never happened, unfortunately. She'd, uh, it would have been really cool because she really wanted to tease you and give you a hard time about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, to the point where you know, during podcasts or like during during just talking, she would go, "Grizzly McBee," and he'd be like, yeah. "Shut the fuck up." <laughs> I think was it was it your New Year's your New Year's party? She kept doing that. Yep. Grizzly McBee, shut up! Stop it! Go <laughs> away, demon! Go get me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would definitely play it again. Maybe do like a stream on it or something for Twitch on us. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. 
now especially know what's what's coming i think that the uh the doki doki uh special edition was on sale or free at one point on on some platform or another uh, i want to say last month or the month before i can't remember time goes Probably by that. so quick we'll, we'll do a little nerd news too this month usually uh for february i do the month of love which that speaking of doki doki that's where it all started right it, that is where it all started that was the first uh dating sim that we did on the channel yeah um i was lucky enough to get conned into playing that um and i i actually played through the entire thing in three nights two nights a a day and a half yeah yeah um i uh uh, at the time i'd already moved back to where i'm at now um what an hour and a half away yeah from from where you are um, which before I'd moved, I was only oh, like 10 minutes away. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'd gone out there for the weekend, uh, cause we were planning on going to that comic con. Yes. Um, we did interviews in and, uh, recorded that we went to the comic con and then I had to leave the comic con early cause I had to go to the hospital. <laughs> yeah. You were having some issues. Where, uh, I ended up going in for emergency surgery and was in the hospital for a few days five days yeah it was a yeah that was that that sucked too because i remember you were you were kind of in pain at the house uh, oh yeah i was in a lot of pain i couldn't sit down couldn't stand up couldn't bend over yeah yeah i mean we had fun at the comic-con you had fun with the games and stuff um yeah and yeah like, like i said that well like i was getting to is that february is usually the month of love and i usually play dating sim and do gameplay of dating sims this month Unfortunately, life has been kind of hectic. I had a plan yeah. to play a game called Romancevania, and I even started pl- re- recording gameplay for it. Uh, but just the months went by too fast, and before I knew it, it was February, and I couldn't do anything. Like, mm-hmm. so I, I we have uh, we have a uh, uh, Shattered Blade doing it on our kick channel. He's playing. He's currently playing some some dating sims for the month of love for the fact that I couldn't I couldn't get to it. You know. Yeah. And then the second dating sim you played was uh, uh, the Colonel I Sanders love Colonel game. Sanders. Yeah, yeah I love and, and that was so fun. I, again, I, I drove out to to Wild's house and uh, we were sitting around, and I get like an hour into the game, and uh, if if you watch the videos, you can tell that there's a cut in between, like. Uh, a, a scene like it goes from talking to jumping to something else because I paused the game and then said, dude, let's go get some fucking chicken. <laughs> well, no, no, because uh, we remember we door dashed it. And it was just you and me and we look at it and I, I, I remember thinking because we're talking about it, you're doing something and then like the colonel in, on the show is like on the, in the in the game is cooking something and they're talking about how like mashed potatoes and all this other stuff and we look at each yeah. other and I think you you basically read my mind. You're like, Dude, KFC sounds fucking good right now. Let's get some chicken. So we had to stop, and we got some. We we door dashed KFC. We stopped for like three hours because it, I mean we got the chicken within like thirty minutes. Yeah. And we just gorged ourselves, and then ended up power napping. Yes. We were just like, uh, uh, uh. And then we woke up and played some more, and and, and yeah, that game was what that game was probably about. I think maybe about the same as Doki Doki, about a day and a half. No, no, we we got. Um, well, no, it was a one. No, you're right. It was a one day thing. We played it yeah. maybe like four hours, five, yeah, four or yeah, five yeah. hours. Yeah, all, all, all together because we had stopped for about three hours. Uh, we were only like an hour and a half in, and then there was only like another two, two and a half hours left of the game. Um, and then the uh, I want to say it was the next night is when uh, you got me to play. Um, squadron oh squadrons right that's right we got for the for the uh the for the vr yeah with the vr well i did it for for the star wars month which is may which i'd like to continue yeah. doing but there's only so many star wars games we can do um yeah not only so so many star wars games we can sit in the lobby going put us in put us in yeah stop just put us in the game uh speaking of of more uh like stranger kind of fucking dating sims right uh then i play i think i played after that after you did that i think i played the 
bird dating sim, which I can't yeah. remember, some <laughs> Hakio boyfriend or something like that, which that was a fucking trip, dude. That game was weird. Um, but then again, so was the one after that was the cat dating sim. I can't remember what that yeah. was called. A lot of, uh, I, there's a lot of weird dating sims out there. And I think that, uh, the bird one was recommended to me by, oh man, I could be getting this wrong. I apologize if I am guys. I think LK has told me about that one. Uh, yes. Yeah. And then I think, um, the cat the dating sim was... was Jade. I think Jade had gifted that one to me and I could be wrong. Again, time goes by, memory fades. I'm getting old. Um, it was either it was either Jade or Clovis that had mentioned it. Yeah, one one I can't remember, but it, I remember getting into the game and just going, "Wow, this is fucking weird." And but it, I got into it like I really enjoyed the games. I did, but it did. I mean, who wants to? Who's who? I in in the bird game, I was a I was playing a female that was being like basically romanced by birds. Yeah. It's like Howard the Duck, the eighties, the eighties movie. Like, it, 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 bestiality, man. But yeah, the, the the dating sims get fucking weird. Like, they're I, I have been, I even looked for some new ones online, and I got some in my Steam, uh, in my Steam wish list for future, for future ones, because I'm hoping to play some more and do some more for our future month of love. I know Grizzly was talking about doing some too. Yeah. Um, we just got to find one. I got to find a really good one for Grizz. Cause I mean, wait, you got, you had Doki Doki and you had, I love you, Colonel Sanders or whatever. Yeah. Which, um, for those of you who don't know that we, you heard us talk about it, but the I love you, Colonel Sanders is obviously what it sounds like. It's you're romancing Colonel Sanders from as a dude, as a dude <laughs> from KFC. Yeah, it's like uh, college Colonel Sanders. Yeah, he's we're, like we're at, we're at university. I, I you know what I remember, what I remember. I, I didn't know that Colonel Sanders was Asian. I you know what? Uh, well, one of the things that got me was like when you would read for Colonel Sanders, you'd have that accent, <laughs> and I thought that was fucking great. Oh boy, I tell you what. Mm-hmm. It, 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 like the more you did it, the more you got into it. It was great. Um, we're kind of we're kind of everywhere tonight. We're not 100 percent sure what we were going to talk about. We were going to talk about Diablo 4. Yeah. Grizz has had it for a while. I recently just bought it for the PS5. Um, I was a little kind of I, just hearing about it when it first came out. I was kind of on it on on uh, the fence because uh, when Diablo 3 came out, it was a shit show. I love Diablo 3 now. Yeah. But when Diablo 3 first came so out, many times. Yeah. yeah. Well, when Diablo when it first came out, it was a shit show. They had the they had the. Uh, well, me. it was it was super bugged. Too. Oh, it was it was bugged, and it well they had the uh, uh what's that called the, the auction house where they were trying to get more money out of players and and you know yeah. you could pe- players could sell stuff, and uh, but you know because like Diablo two people were selling stuff online, and making money off it. So fucking. Blizzard saw it as a way to make money. Blizzard was just trying to make money, and it, honestly, it didn't last long. The um, the auction house only lasted maybe about a year, if that, maybe two. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then they they added more stuff to Diablo three, made make it made it easier and better to play, and that's what I'm hoping for for Diablo four. But honestly, um, neither one of us has beat it. No. So, <clears throat> I bought Diablo four uh, the day it was released. Um, which I was jealous because usually it's me that does that. Yes, and uh, the reason I did that is because you know um, those of you that have that have watched our stuff or listened to our stuff for a while, and a while can attest to this. Uh, Diablo is one of my all-time favorite games. In Diablo, I'm a bit of a completionist. Yeah, I don't well, like gray areas in my map. A lot, a lot of games like that that has to do with uh, exploring. You are a completionist. You like I'm yeah. I'm the same way. I want to I want to look at everything. Yeah. So, I got through chapter one, and then they released the fact that you could play multiplayer with friends, and I thought, oh, that'd be fucking awesome. And then other games came out, and I started playing those. We were recording well, those. It doesn't help that I'm like, oh, you got to play Lethal Company. Oh, you got to play Zomboid, Project Zomboid. You know, you got all the, and I, I still want to play these games with you. And then you got me Pal World, which yeah. I've only played like three minutes of because we've been busy. 
we just yeah. talked about this off podcast that we haven't really played video games in like yeah I, I i haven't played anything in over three weeks because it's just been it's, busy at work busy with life it's been uh, about a week and a half for me between editing and and doing videos and doing podcasts and staying on top of other things that need to be done of course and work um yeah because of all that stuff we're just swamped you know we haven't been able to play games like we want yeah, to those of you that that know uh i'm in a new relationship um you know we've been together you know not quite a year but uh that yeah, things are going great i mean you you can ask wild i'm i'm happier than i've ever been um and he's got freedom i i do have freedom for, for now <laughs> for now well, I didn't mean that kind of freedom, Grizz. I meant like, you know, not to not to not to make things weird about other relationships, but other people didn't want you to play video games. Yeah, no, and and my girl now. Um, I mean, I I did get into a relationship with with uh, a single mother. Her daughter is freaking amazing. I love this, this little girl to death. Um, I said, little girl, she's she's bigger than her mom. And she's only eleven, <laughs> um, but she's freaking awesome. And uh, you know, I'm I'm planning on on progressing my my life story, as it were, um, and leveling up, maybe. Is that a good yes, way of putting it? Yes, leveling up. Um, I, I've gotten to that level to where I I have more companions in my party <laughs> yes yes i like it i like it and and what's great about this uh this partner is all of my friends that have met her like her <laughs> uh, I, I don't think i've i think i'm i don't think i've met her yet but i like her already um um yeah i don't think i've met her i've seen pictures no, no you haven't yeah um, because the only time I was at your place was when we went to Vegas. Yeah, and she wasn't home. And you, yeah, and she, she did just moved in with you. In fact, um, that. Oh uh, no, she moved in while we were in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I'm happy for this guy. I've seen him go through some pretty crazy relationships. He's seen me go through some pretty crazy relationships yeah. too. And uh, it's uh, I'm it, as long as this fucker's happy, I'm happy. You know what I mean? Like, and that's really what matters. Um. Uh, Diablo Four. We haven't beat it. We he's shaking his head because I just said something funny, and it's probably being edited out. No, um, no it's definitely being edited. Yeah, out. yeah. Uh, but anyway, he's close. He just got to like the second, the second chapter. Yeah, the second chapter. And... I'm still on the first chapter, and the gameplay's fun. It really is. I like the open world environments, and I love the storyline. Love yeah. the storyline. I was wondering where they were going to go after Diablo 3, right? With, uh, with I mean, we knew that they were going to bring in Lilith and and the storyline, how, how Sanctuary was made and all this other stuff and how that was going to be a thing and how her and, and, and the, the angel that she got with to make the Nephilim or whatever the fuck, uh, uh, the story progressed there. And I'm wondering how they're going to do this to where Diablo is going to be introduced, like the, 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 three, the three demons are going to be introduced and you know i i can i'm sure people who are watching this have seen it or played it and gotten or have already beaten it or have already so, beaten it well, yeah. but the game like i'm excited to see where this progresses how it's going to happen and uh yeah. so far the story has been really good there's been maybe a few moments i'm like uh but it's just very few like diablo 3 was bad about that like Diablo yeah. three was, was like, okay, this is going to happen. And guess what? It happens. What I, when I talk about Diablo three, I, I usually say like, I usually compare it to a Saturday morning cartoon Yeah. because, um, Diablo three is basically the equivalent of, Oh, you're never going to get past my general. Oh, you got past my general. You'll never get past my next general. Oh, you got past my next general. How dare you? Oh, you'll never get to me. And it just goes on and on and on and on like that. That's Diablo three. That's in a, in a fucking, in a nutshell, yep. you know, and, and look at me, I'm Diablo with titties and, <laughs> and that was cool, but <laughs> still, you know, um, and then they, of course in Diablo three, they killed Kane. Fuck that. 
that was mm-hmm. fucked up. Um, but you know, Kane was probably older than Dirt by that time anyway. This whole story with Lilith, I'm I'm enjoying the. You know what I like about the concept with Lilith is that she's like the embodiment of sin. In, in a sense, yeah, kind of. She's like you're. She's the temptress. That's the word. There you go. She there is go. the temptress of 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 everything. Of, of just, I mean, the very first scene, she basically takes over a whole town. You know what I mean? Like, and and not only does she take over a whole town, she basically converts them to whatever religion she's trying to put out there. Yeah. And um, one one of the scenes that I just got by was, uh, and uh, you know not going to spoil it, but I'll give a little bit um, was that there's this girl and her mother and her mother basically like, is supposed to be, you know, a really good mom, really good person. Well, she basically makes, she tempts the mother into joining her and coping her with her cause. Turning on her daughter. Yeah. Turning on her daughter. And that, I find that very interesting. That's very interesting as far as like, what would make someone do that? You have to have some sort of really huge demonic power, like some sort of aura to just just mind fuck someone like that. Yeah. And I find that very interesting. And of course, there's the side quests and all the dungeons. There's a shit ton of dungeons on the map. Everywhere. Like like I said, I'm a completionist. I've had to... In, in chapter one, I had to hit everything. I hadn't touched all the dungeons. I've, I, I found them. Yeah, well, not all of them, but a lot of them. But uh, I haven't gone into all some of them because I want to. I want to do other things and get some of the story. And I like that there's there's certain stories that have like continuations. Yes, there's like the stories within the stories within the stories. Yeah, like, within the stories, like a, keep going. A good example is like there's a there's a gal there's one of the gals from one of the churches who's like she's like mother something or another where where she goes and like does a bunch of exorcisms. And you start off with one exorcism, and then and it works out fine. And you find her somewhere else. You do another exorcism, and that thing gets away. And then the last, ex- well, the, it gets away and possesses her. Yes. And then in the last part of that that story, you have to actually exorcise the demon out of her, which is really cool. By the way, what qu- I I pretty sure I know what you picked because I think we picked the same thing. What character did you pick? I got I picked the necromancer. That's what I thought you did. No, because I always go Necro. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I don't remember. Because I usually do Necro last, and that's why I was like, fuck it, I'm going to do Necromancer, and, and it's really fun in this one. It was fun in the last game, but I know they dumbed it down in Diablo 3. Um, I either did Necro or Sorcerer, but I, I think I did Sorcerer. My usual pick is, uh, for the first time I play these games, is, is like the Barbarian. <laughs> I would have opened the game and see. <laughs> I had a sorcerer in Diablo three on the PC, which was fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's another thing about this uh, Diablo four is I guess it's uh, you can play it cross comp- it's cross compatible, cross platform. So yeah. like I could play on my PS five with Grizz, which we haven't done yet. We will, damn it. We will, and and we'll um, record it. We'll we, record it and beat it. We we'll, we'll, I'll stream it. Fuck it. Yeah, that's that's yeah. I like that idea. Uh, but because I think you had to be at a certain chapter to be able to play multiplayer, which I know a lot of people were pissed off about. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Um, like that's why uh, Wild and I love playing Diablo Two so much is because we can start from create the brand new players and start the game together. Well, even Diablo Three, we could start from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, um, so I'm hoping that though. They'll fix that soon. That way we can do yeah. that because that's that's what I really want to do, is is start from the extreme beginning. Yeah, and do like a yeah. hardcore mode. <clears throat> yes. So like, uh, I know uh, we didn't stream it or, or record it or anything, but uh, when we got back into uh, Diablo two, um, we had started from the beginning, and uh, we just thought, you know what fuck it let's just let's go ball to the wall and we did like torment five or torment yeah. six and well, i think we started on three because it wouldn't let us go any higher 
Oh yeah, yeah. We started on or three two or something after like we that. Beat the uh, maybe one. I think it was like the the second or third boss. And we just kept um, putting it up higher and higher because we wanted to level up and and get harder and to the point where I just kept dying. Well, he kept dying, and I kept not taking damage <laughs> because uh, you had fucking, no. I was the fucking witch doctor. Yes, I was trying yeah. something different. I wanted to be the witch doctor. Yeah, fuck that. That's that. I I never played the Witch Doctor before, but it, it was a cool game. It was a cool playthrough, but it's still not my favorite character. Yeah, um, I, I think the best we did was when you were the um, I want to say you were the Paladin, and I did the Necro. Which we beat the game, and uh, I, I think by the time we got to Diablo, I still hadn't taken damage. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I you know what I'd like to see is a is a like a remastered Diablo one. That would be cool, right? Like they did a remaster of Diablo two, and that we played that on the PS4. Yeah, I'd like to see Diablo one, rem- but the problem with that is they'd have to like fix the pixels and and make it more, you know, because it was it was in an age when the graphics really aren't weren't that weren't that good. I don't want to say it was an eight bit game. No, it wasn't an eight bit game, but it, it kind of had that eight bit game feel to it it had well compared to nowadays when we have well, yeah, all this c- compared to now yeah we have all this like hd shit like it was just very it was very there was a lot of pixelization to the uh to the art and it's just how the games were back then we didn't have it wasn't really high definition it really wasn't made like that or even our even our uh, monitors were big boxes like televisions so uh it worked it's just how it worked you know yeah so Diablo four is so far, so far very enjoyable. Yeah. A very fun game. Uh, I do see that. I, I, I will say one thing. I don't like the shop. Yeah. The shop, uh, you can, you, you can always tell when a game is like, give us money, give us more money, give us all your money. And that when, when, it, when, and I'm not surprised like blizzard Activision doing this kind of thing. Like, because they've done it in the past, but it's just, it's like they, they put this shit in there and it, it's, I don't know if it's, if, I don't know, I didn't even look at all of it. A lot of it's like stuff for your horse, which by the way, I still haven't figured out how to find, get a fucking horse. Um, Because you have to be in chapter four to get your horse. God damn it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I could have used the horse now. Exactly. Exactly. I know that I got a thing in my, um, in my booklet, like the the place when I bought for my PlayStation Five, is there's a thing that I can I can unlock a horse. Oh yeah, no, I've I've unlocked uh, two horses, um, with skins, and uh, yeah, no, I, I, you have to be chapter four to get your horse. Oh, and then of course there's um they did they do this they do the same seasons kind of thing, but you got to buy into it to get everything, which is bullshit. Yeah. Um, I don't think they did that with Diablo two or three they started doing that with diablo three that makes sense well either way it's bullshit the shop is bullshit the fact that they you know i get that they want to make more money i understand that but like give us dlc more content if that don't don't try and nickel and dime us with fucking your horse can look like a look a cow (laughs) and i have a feeling the shop is going to go just the same way as the auction house did yeah. In the long run, it's just, they're just going to be like, oh, no one's using it, so we're going to get rid of it. By the way, here's some free shit. So, I wouldn't w- waste your guys' money. It, that's just my opinion, though. So. Well, you know what isn't a waste of money? What's that? Magic Mind. Oh, Magic Mind. Who, who is our sponsor for this podcast? Magic yes. Magic Mind is a energy shot, if you will. Um of organic stuff that is amazing for you. The anti procrastination drink. Yes. Is what they is what yes. they call it. Like you know me, I love my energy drinks. Oh yeah. And Magic Mind is by far the best energy drink that I've ever taken. I I gotta agree with you. Um 
the shots the shots actually like made me feel more on the ball made me feel more uh like i've said in the past tunnel vision like getting from point a to point b getting things done um more focused more focused very focused uh yeah. almost laser focused in yeah. some ways uh you could like i have this issue where and i've said it before where i'll have i'll, I'll get caught up on my words i'll get in my head and I'll be like, okay, what's that word? Is says, what's the word? And I'll be trying to say something easy, like spoon, you know? And, and I'll, and I'll just get lost. Well, when I was on, when I was drinking the energy drinks, when I was drinking the, the magic mind shots, I had that, I didn't have that problem. It just came, things came to me and I almost, it almost made me feel a little more confident. It, it makes you less stressed and less anxious. Oh yeah. The there's, um, there's actual, uh, ingredients in it that actually take away the stress it, it's supposed to help take away stress. Like matcha, for instance, um, before trying magic mind, neither, uh, neither wild or I had ever tried matcha. I don't think monster and, had either. No, I, I don't think so, but it's, uh, it helps lower your stress. I was, yeah, I, I like I said in the past, there's, there's others. There's other ingredients that actually help with, uh, like, with like your health. That's supposed to bring up your immune system. If I'm not mistaken, I think the cordyceps, not yeah, the cordyceps the, mushrooms, not the, not ones, the ones from ones the Last of Us, last of not those kind of mushrooms. No one's clicking. And yep. in this case, it's supposed to help with. Uh, it's supposed to reduce inflammation, strengthens your immune system. Uh, it supports higher energy levels and physical endurance. There's a there's a few other really cool really cool ingredients like like the ashwagandha. When when we first started looking at this, we had no clue. So I looked it up, and it's a type of um, ginseng root um, that apparently has been used medicinally for like eight thousand years. <laughs> it's been used to uh, reduce stress and anxiety, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, from someone who gets stressed easily, it's helped immaculately. And then a, my five dollar word for the day. Matt, there you go, immaculately. And then lion's mane mushrooms, another good thing for adaptogens, and it reduces anxiety. That actually doesn't taste that bad either. You know, for it, being it really doesn't for having all the mushrooms and and all this other stuff in the matcha. You can taste the matcha. I'll tell you that oh, much. Yeah, yeah. the matcha is probably the the thing that hits you the most, I the, the the forefront of the, yeah. of the smell at the very least. I'll quote Shattered Blade on this. He he had said that uh, it has a very earthy slash kind of wine smell to it, mm. and it, I it kind of does. Like after he said that to me, it, I, I agree a hundred percent. It smelled a very like of of like a wine. And for for those of you out there that are they're worried, oh well, it's, a, it's another energy energy drink, energy shot. Um, this one's different. There's no sugar, no nuts. It's vegan, keto, and paleo friendly. Very important. Um, and it works. And it, it works. Really yes. <laughs> it works. Um, you, there's no cut. At the end of the night, you're not dying. You're not, uh, wore out. You can fall no asleep. Crash. There's no crash. You can fall asleep at the end of the night and naturally fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is the big thing for me because, you know, you, you try any other energy drink and you taste it and you're just like, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you're just, you can't, either can't sleep or you're so crashed, you're just out and yeah. you just feel like crap the next day. You don't get that with Magic Mind. Go to magicmind.com. Get the limited 56% off your first subscription and 20% off your one-time purchase, but only... If you go to www.magicmind.com slash NITNSC. And if you use our code NITNSC20 within the next 10 days. Uh, you'll you get up to 56% off your subscription for the next 10 days with our code. And that's with the additional 20% on your first purchase. And, you know, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, when when uh, Magic Mind first reached out to us, I was like, yeah, I don't know, I've never heard of it. And then, you know, did, doing some research and, you know, looking into it, I was like, okay, well, you know, th this could be a thing. And then they sent us some samples. and Yeah, they were kind enough to send us uh, all, yeah. uh, all, like four of us samples. It was yeah. beautiful. It was uh, uh, myself, Wild. Uh, monster and Shatterblade, you know, uh, 
we all got samples and you know we all tried them uh together yeah no that that was my proof right there the busiest day of the year for me at work and it it was it was fantastic yep so that is that was my okay let, let's do it i'm willing to endorse this product because it works yes and, and don't just take our word for it i mean uh, go to the the biggest podcast uh, there is in the world, uh, the Joe Rogan Experience. Joe yeah. Rogan himself is, uh, has talked about this product. Endorsed it, even. And endorsed this product. The Kardashians have endorsed this product. There um, you go. You know, it's a lot of people are endorsing this product because it works. So with that in mind, let's let's talk about something that will hopefully one day do what we want it to do, and that being Diablo 4. Yes. <laughs> yes. Segway. Segway. <laughs> you know, I, I have a feeling we'll probably do a podcast in the future on Diablo 4 a little more in, in depth because we haven't beat it yet. Yeah. But I, I figure the way I look at it right now is that even if we haven't beat it, it's still a good game. It's still... Yeah. Uh, it is. I, I know I put maybe... 15 hours into it, maybe that, so far, um, if that. Uh, it, has, it has to be over 10 hours. I know you probably put quite a few hours into it, too. Yeah, I think I've got like 15 or 20 hours into it. So, um, yeah. I, if you guys like the game, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think. Uh, if you want, it, Hell, even at the beginning of the podcast, we were talking about... Uh, we are talking about dating sims. If you guys got any dating sims you want us to play... Tell us then too. Tell us, and there's a number you can call, isn't there, Grizz? There sure is, Wild, and that number is five five nine 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 seven six eight zero three. Again, that number is five five nine 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 seven six eight zero three. Feel free to get a hold of us. Tell us what you think about the podcast, reviews, games, movies. Dating sims. Dating sims. Things um, you want us to eat. If you don't want to call, by all means, join our Discord. Nerd is the new sexy entertainment. We are always on there. Yes, we always check. We you can check us out on on our other social medias like Facebook and yeah. Twitch, Twitch, Kick, and, yep, uh, Instagram, yep. TikTok. X or Twitter, because no one calls it X. Tweet, 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 tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys can check us out on our social medias. If you really want to get a hold of us, you can call us or join us or join us on our Discord, because we're always there. I think we'll end the podcast there, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time on our next podcast. Till then, stay nerdy. And stay sexy. Always.